Hey everyone, what you're looking at here is a very old Micro Machines Highways and Byways play set called Service City. It's a vintage set from the 90s. Uh, first of all, we'll take a look at the box. Here's the side. You can see remnants of an old price tag, looks like maybe a Walmart price tag. I just purchased this from eBay. There's the bottom. And there's the barcode. Um, you can see there, it says copyright 1993, so it is pretty old. And here's the back of the box. Close up of the set right there. And then here's a little view of all the other sets that they had available at the time. Lots of cool sets. It's too bad they don't make these anymore, but that's the way it goes. This company, Galoob, who released all the Micro Machines in the 90s, sadly went out of business shortly uh, shortly after 2000 rolled around, I believe. Something like that. So anyways, we're going to open it up and put it together. This is brand new, by the way. I, I purchased it brand new from the seller, so it looks like they may have opened up the factory seal just to check and make sure everything is inside, but otherwise it looks like it's been untouched. So the first, whoa, that just flew out right away, just a bag of accessories, but I was going to pull these out first, it comes with two cars, here's one. and the other one so that's pretty cool let's see here let's pull it all out as one thing it looks like so here's uh, another bag of some main parts and this is the base of the playset. Pretty cool. And it looks like that's everything. Nope, we have one more bag. One more bag of ramps. And here are the instructions on label sheets. Let's take a good look at these. Nothing on the back except for some product information. So pretty cool vintage set. Then here's a look at the label sheet. There are quite a few labels to put on. But that's okay, that's all part of the fun. So this is all the contents of the box right here.
All right, so I have all the labels applied and the set is completely put together now. Uh, just a couple things I'll note. The pieces are kind of flimsy, especially these small parts as you can see. This is definitely a set that would not be able to pass today's standards I don't think because a lot of Hot Wheels sets and things like that are usually almost pre-made in their boxes so you don't have to do anything like that. and. Like on this set, you have to manually place the decals on, and that takes a lot of time. Uh, most sets these days are not like that at all. But, anyways, um, I guess my best advice, if you ever find yourself picking one of these up on eBay or whatever, possibly use some super glue when you're putting the pieces together. You gotta be careful because that stuff sticks and sticks really fast, and if you make a mistake, uh, you'll wreck your set, but if you use super glue, that'll probably keep it together for a long time and it'll be more sturdy. That's what I'll probably do with this one. Um, but let's just take a look at the features. First of all, you have an elevator right in the middle. Just twist the handle and you can bring it up. It's really slow, but it does work really good. I'll just bring it up to the second floor here. Push the car out, and we got a lot of little parking places and stuff like that, which is neat. And then the ramp. The ramp is pretty cool. Uh, we got two garages with two different sets of uh, repair pieces. I'll show you from the back. This first one. There's a little lever, and you can lift it up. And then the second one is a little wheel rotator, which you can spin right here. So that's a neat little feature. And I have an ant crawling around. Get off. And then if you put one car in here and twist the elevator, the car can spin around. That's pretty neat. Like a little showroom. Kind of hard to get the car out. Just tip the set, I suppose. But otherwise, you got a lot of parking places on the top. And you can drive down the ramp, and that's always fun. Pretend gas pumps. Little stoplight, street lights, lots of little entrances and exits, which is cool. And above all, it just it's a nice showpiece type of set. So if you're not gonna play with it, it's definitely good if you just set it on a shelf and have it as a display item. I that's pretty much what I'm gonna do with this. Looks really nice as just a showpiece, you know? So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little review. Again, this is the Micro Machines Highways and Byways Service City from Galoob. Very old set from 1993. And I hope you enjoyed this video. That's it.